Oko, Esiko Dede Asikoi. Hey guys, it's Adironke again. Today I'd like to talk about another simile. The one that I have for today is dancing like a spinner. So the children that were born in the 80s, 90s and even before, <laughs> even long long before, can relate to playing with funnel shaped spinners or spinning tops, at least the majority of them that lived in Nigeria. So you would hold it on the bottom and you would spin it on the floor or a table or whatever surface you choose and you would dance round and round until it stops. Usually the game would involve waiting for, if you're playing it with someone else, it would be maybe whose spin would last longer or how far would it go kind of thing. So spinner spinning tops okoto okoto the nigerian ones tend to look like this and they have different colors but people don't play them anymore so they don't like produce them mass produce them at least anymore how do we say someone is dancing like a spinner onjobi okoto onjobi okoto o in Yoruba is a gender neutral pronoun so it can be he, she or it. I've mentioned in a different video that we Yoruba people don't have he, she or it pronouns so we have very gender neutral pronouns. O, he, she or it mm, is is. So if there's mm in a sentence know that something that is happening currently is being talked about or Basically, it's is. It gives a sense that whatever you're going to talk about next is happening in the present. It usually precedes a verb. Mm. Jo, jo is dance, but njo is, is dancing. B is like. Okoto is the spinner or the spinning top. Spinner or spinning top. So the transliteration is ish or it is dancing like a spinner or a spinning top. And that means the translation is that is your it is dancing well. So if someone is dancing well, we would say onjobi okoto. You can also say onrobi okoto. Ro bi okoto. Ro is twist. Is your it is twisting like a, a spinning top. You know when you when you twist it, it, it twists and twirls. So on Robi Okoto, on Jobi Okoto, he or she or it is dancing well. They tend to go round like the spinners tend to be able to twirl and go round, you know. So hence their ability to dance well and hence anyone that is if, if you nickname someone okoto for example if you start to call someone okoto anybody that is yoruba would guess that they must be a really good dancer like mwah, fantastic dancer that's why you've given them that nickname so okoto the spinner so if someone asks the question how did ishi or it dance and you reply she e or it danced well she e or it danced like a spinning top you you would be this is how it would look like in yoruba in yoruba it would be bawo jo how did he she or it dance bawo is how ni o ni is like did can be is can but did in this case O is issue or it like I said. She she is like the way it's just emphasizing bawo here or just modifying bawo. I don't know how to <laughs> I don't know what the correct word is, but she in what way? How what way? The way Jo is dance. So how did Ishi or it dance? If you want to say Ishi or it danced well, you say ojo da da. Da da is well. Ojo da da. Ojo bi okoto. Ojo bi okoto. Ishi or e danced like a spinner. So ishi or it danced like a spinning top. That's the simile for today.
if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask please like share and subscribe if you haven't done so already and please support my channel in the ways that you have i'll see you in the next video in the next video i'm going to talk about i'm going to actually teach you a song that has to do with dancing like a spinner isn't that amazing that we even have a song that refers to dancing like a spinner in that song it is becoming a spinner though it's a metaphor i supposed to dance and like a spinner it's audio koto so it sure it became a spinner so watch out for my next video i'll see you in the next one have a good day and goodbye